Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Derek Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to continue to talk about creating wealth, making that extra money while you sleep, wealth building. And as you know, it's up to you. You have to be the CEO of my life. Stop Struggling Now gear. Check. And you can go get this at the StopStrugglingNow.com website. And welcome, everybody. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. All right, welcome back. As you can see, as usual, we're on the Stop Struggling Now channel. I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. But we got to get to the breakdown. Start making some money, creating your wealth. There's no excuse against this. So what I'm trying to say is, let's just start this plain and clear. We got to set this up for you. New subscribers, old subscribers, think about something. When you're out buying clothes, out buying dinner, you don't think of it as throwing money away, right? You don't think of it as losing money, right? But you're willing to spend $100, $150, $60, $70, $200 on dinner, the same amount on clothes. None of those items can you get anything back from. There's, It's gone. But yet, you're going to be the same people that say, hey, Eric, what if I spend $100 and I lose my money in the stock market? I'm lost. Somebody please help me. You're not concerned about throwing money down the tube at objects that you're putting on or objects that you have in your closet, cars, anything else you spend money on, even a drink that you drink and it's over with and it's gone disposable money you're not concerned about losing anything even though you freely give it away month after month year after year how much money do you spend on extracurricular activities but yet somebody says spend one hundred dollars and get yourself start to invest or spend one hundred dollars a month and you start going well what if I lose I'm like come on now stop playing with yourself ladies and gentlemen you're designed this way The one percenters, 10 percenters, they're sitting there laughing, going, this is hilarious. These guys are out here working paycheck to paycheck. And instead of investing where that money works for themselves, they're sitting there going, these clowns are out here buying objects that go down in value. Somebody goes out and says, well, I got to put $2,000 down on a car. Then I'm going to pay $400 a month, whether it's with or without insurance. Gladly doing it. No problem knowing that the car is now worth half the value. Knowing that they have lost 30%, 20% once you drive off on a new car. Even if it's not a new car, you know that the car is going down in value while you're paying for it. You didn't look at the $2,000 you put down as lost money. You didn't look at the $400 a month as lost money. But yet, tell somebody to invest in the stock market and their minds start going what if I lose money I'm like well, I'm thinking why didn't you put the two thousand dollars into something that makes money while you sleep while you get that dividend money income why aren't you putting four hundred dollars a month into investing yourself you're the CEO of your life why not so I'm imploring everybody go get that Robin Hood link right now down below get started Use the Robin Hood. Once you sign up, confirm your email address, confirm your ID by loading up your ID, confirm your email address, confirm everything, and they will issue a free stock in about seven days. Now, deposit $100 or more within 30 days, and you get a second free share of stock. Webull has a two-year anniversary right now. So I'm going to have their link down there. With them, there's two ways you can go. You can either go download the Webull app, 
deposit $100, they give you a free share of stock, 100 or more, or you can go with download the app of Webull, upload $100 or more, and then they have this contest going on where they have a raffle so you can get a share of stock like Google. They have promotions going on right now, but there's some tasks that you have to complete in order to get in that raffle to get this type of a stock. But nonetheless, let's forget about the free stuff. I'm just trying to get you in the game. Now, you're going to have to change your mindset here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go over here right now. Let's start out with the basics. We're going to get into some stocks and investment and things like that. But let's get your mind right. Because, again, I have to put this up on the screen for you. Because a lot of people still don't understand what's going on. This is from 2017, December 19, 2017. The richest 10% of Americans now own 84% of all stocks. And people are sitting here going, people are out of work. People are laid off. Businesses are closed. Why is the stock market going up? People, how many times have I said it? One percenters don't lose. This has nothing to do with the real economy. The stock market is fake. It's paper. It's somebody's casino. You have to play in the casino. If you want to be a 10 percenter, a one percenter, you're going to play where they play. And they play in the stock market, whether it's the NASDAQ, whether it's the Standard & Poor, S&P 500, whether it is Dow Jones. You have to play if you want to be a 10 percenter. And especially if you're going to be a 1 percenter. This is one of the seven streams of income that most millionaires have. So I just implore you, this is a no barrier to entry. A lot of people are sitting here giving freely into their 401k freely they're saying here take 10 percent of my income and invest it in my 401k for me you don't even care that the people are taking one percent from you every year you don't care they might be taking two percent from you every year you don't even care about none of that but yet you're going to care about hey eric what if i lose money in the stock market everything is a risk in life when you drive out of your driveway that doesn't guarantee you're coming back. When you're out there buying clothes, jewelry, cars, what money are you getting for buying these objects? Nothing. Unless, of course, you turn it into a business. Unless, of course, you're an influencer. Unless, of course, you're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and have an LLC to back it up, then it would be tax write-offs, like one percenters, using your business for personal but it's business, so it's a tax write-off, and you don't pay as much in taxes. Like the other 90% of people that work 9-to-5 jobs. Come on, people. Think about it. Open your mind up. So now, if you know that this is the number, like I've said over and over for the last 2-3 months, and you're still not thinking about investing in stocks, then let's go down this path. Let's go to the Google, where I put in what percentage of income goes to expenses. There's formulas that people call this one the 50-30-20 rule to budget. Fixed costs should take up 50% of your income. Variable costs change from month to month, such as entertainment, groceries, and clothing. That's your uh, 30%. And you should be doing 20% of your, your income towards savings. Now, that sounds real nice, real great, but let's put this in practical terms. Let's just stop with the BS, okay? People, let me go down here. What am I going to, I'm trying to find something here that shows, oh yeah, here we go. I know what it is. It was based on the fact, if you make, let's say $60,000 a year, okay? And you have to pay taxes on 25% of that. That means you're going to have roughly $4,900 left over. And by the way, as you guys know, 
60% of the population makes less than $40,000 a year. So you don't have to play with me. I know a lot of you are going, Eric, I don't make $60,000. I know this. All right? I know this. But I'm using this as my example. So that equals $4,100 per month is what you have left over after taxes when you work for somebody else. So if you went by this 50-30-20 rule, somebody's going to have to start explaining how 50% of this is fixed cost. Because fixed cost is going to be things like where you live, and if you have such things as car notes, credit card payments, those are going to be fixed cost. Some people have uh, educational cost, things of that nature. So if you're thinking 50% of your income out of $4,100, that leaves you $2,000 towards fixed costs. Now, most people do realize that in order to qualify for a location, you have to earn uh, 30%. They take 30%. So if you're making $4,000 a, a month, you can most likely live in a roughly... $1,300, $1,400 a month apartment, house, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be the maximum. They're not going to let you move in above that. So now, when you add a car, credit cards, that means you're, you have to lower that fixed cost to live somewhere. So how many people are going to live in a place that only costs $900 a month? Not many. Now, it, well, you can live in a place that costs $900 a month, but it's either going to be very small or in a bad neighborhood. There's not too many great situations that come out of paying $800, $900 a month. So therefore, you got to up your income. you got to up your streams of income. So with all that said, I want to get things in perspective because this is what's a normal thing that a financial planner would tell you to do. How many people have 20%, $800 a month in this scenario where you make $60,000 a year? How many people are have $800 a month to put toward savings? And even if you did have $800 a month, you're not putting it in the bank. What, you want 1% or less? Or are you sending it over to the 401k so you can get tax deferred money 20, 30 years from now? And you don't even know what the tax rate's going to be 30 years from now. But yet, here you are, signing up. Take my $800. Tell me I made 5%, even though the mutual fund company or the hedge fund company or whoever's doing the investing could have made 30%. Meanwhile, they just make you happy. You're like, ooh, I made more money. I'm very happy. Here's your 5%, Eric. How do you feel? Oh, I feel real good. I put $800 in every, every, uh, every month. And I got 5% on my money? Yeah, the bank won't even give me 1%. This is awesome. Meanwhile, using your money, they done made 150, 400% on your money. But they're giving you chump change, as one percenters would do. Thank you very much for giving us your money. Because we don't want to risk our own. Come on, wake up, people. Let's go. So here's what I want to explain. Get in on a stream of income. We've talked about this before. Dividend income, capital gains tax, all has to do with the stock market. Now, let's get down to business because a lot of people may not understand. I told people, look, prospect, capital, is a stock that everybody can afford. $5.07 right now. This is as of today. You can see their dividend yield normally would be 13.82%. I got a notice just the other day that I was getting a dividend because I do own Prospect Capital Corporation stock. So it was six cents. Now, when you start doing six, they, by the way, they give out monthly. So this is a check coming every month. So... 6 times 12, 72. And what you do is you divide 72. I mean, 
Yeah, 72 divided by $5.07 is 13.82%. Prospect Capital stock code is P as in Paul, S as in Sam, E, C as in Charles. And you get nearly 14% on your money for $5. For every $5, you're getting 72 cents. So if you bought 20 shares, this is not sexy because it's a small amount. But you have spent $100. That means you're going to get $13.82 annually. That's an annual yield. Okay? But monthly, you get $1 and some change. Now, when you start thinking this out and you start going, well, what if I had 1,000 shares? What if I had 10,000 shares? Now you see you're going to start having thousands of dollars per month coming in potentially. So this is what the wealthy do. This is what the one percenters do. This is what the 90 top 10 percenters do. Why not join them? I've stated this long and hard and now is your time this is the time when millionaires are made let's go with another company that I told people to invest in Nordic American Tankers NAT they are giving based on theirs 9.51 percent annual dividend on your money now they're paying 20 cents and just so people understand how this works, there's a ex-dividend date. So if you own the stock, and in this case they moved it forward to August 27th, then that's when anybody that owned the stock by August 27th, you're going to get the next dividend that comes out. 20 cents, and they pay quarterly. So in their case, every three months, you get a dividend check. Now, I ask you, if I went down to buy $100, dress, shirt, shoes, I get to wear them around. They wear out, right? What do I get for that? Zero. Whereas, you could be receiving money for the next, who knows, 10 years, 5 years, 1 years. As long as they're paying out dividends, you could be receiving money. So this is something to think about. So every pair of shoes, every clothes, clothing item you buy, all the groceries you buy, all the entertainment you do, it's Friday night, just got paid, parties bumping. Where you at? Buying drinks? Going to dinner? All that money that you throw out the window, you're not, that you don't care nothing about, now all of a sudden you care when you say invest in the stock market. Come on. Let's go. One of my favorite stocks, if you're first starting out and you have $100, I always say get AT&T. The reason why I like AT&T is because it's a mobile company. It's a, a streaming service. They have other deals in the works. And so they're most likely not going anywhere. And they give $0.52 cents every quarter. Every three months, you receive $0.52. Cents. It's $2 a year that they issue and right now at this price at thirty dollars you get six point seven percent on your money and AT&T stock symbol is the letter T as in Tom so again you have money there I'm just gonna go real quick because I know this is longer than I had anticipated already but uh, we'll get into it Exxon I told people about this before XOM when it was uh, thirty three dollars $34, $35, like three months ago, I think it was. And I told people, hey, get your X on because the oil stocks were low. Now it's 45 Not only can you get the appreciation, but again, here's how this works. If you would have bought it $33 a share or 35 then your annual yield will be higher because you would have bought lower. So you what you would have been doing was like three dollars and forty eight cents divided by thirty three or even thirty four dollars you'd be earning ten percent on your money but because the stock went up twelve dollars since the time I was telling people to get it now 
your annual yield is lower because the stock price is higher, but it's still at a nice 7.73%, and they still give you $3.48 a year. Now, I got notification I'm getting an Exxon dividend, which they pay every three months. This is why I'm bringing these up. While you guys are sleeping, working nine to five, some of us are sitting here collecting other kind of checks. Here's another one. GT. It was $5 and something. Just two, three months ago. And you could have bought it then. But now it's $7.61. GT is Goodyear Tire and Rubber. It's G as in George, T as in Tom as a stock symbol. Now it's at 8% and you get $0.64 cents a year on your money. So when I bought it at $5 and some odd change, I'm getting more than 10% on my money. Right now, everybody can still get 8% on your money. Let's face it. Is there any place that you can get 8% on your money if they pay out dividends? Now, keep in mind, during a pandemic, you may not get dividends issued. That's why you want the stock and the economy to get better so then everything's stable. So these guys are back to making money and you can count on getting dividends. This is why all those that invest in the stock market are praying for everything to get back to normal sooner than later. And that's why some people are against the health reasons for coming. They just want open so the, everything can get back to normal so the stock market can go up. Never mind if you die while going to work because there's five people infected. My God. Because I'm sitting in the glass house while you're at work. We can find another body to replace you. Because just remember, as soon as you're dead, your job is taken the next day. Get your mind right. All right. So here's the thing. I wanted to discuss, what do you do when uh, stocks are uh, in a crazy number? Like Amazon stock, it's booming. But who has $2,442 per stock to spend? And even though they do not even issue dividends. As you can see, this is all hypothetical. But their shares have went up since the pandemic because people are ordering more things online. It makes sense. But who has the $2,000? So therefore, you don't have that many people investing in Amazon. So you need more people. Tesla, the same way, $835. What are you going to do when most people don't have $835 to invest in one stock? And especially a stock that doesn't give you any dividends. Sure, if you bought Tesla of three, even a month ago or two, two months ago, it was half of this price. So you would have won or had to make decisions. Are you going to sell now that it's double or are you just going to keep rolling with it and watch it roll up? Or are you going to sell because you're happy with earning 100% on your money? These are the decisions you make when a stock gets up to this kind of uh, area where you're earning 100% on your money or more. Uh, but here's the thing what is think about this you got to think about you're a ceo of united states making money and then you start thinking okay look i have x amount of people that have a job i know how many of those x amount of people are sending money to a mutual fund company or a 401k company out of their paycheck they're not going to be sending that money to me at Tesla or me at Amazon. Now, Amazon and Tesla don't have nothing to do with this. But the point I'm trying to make is, if I am a 10 percenter and a 1 percenter, and I need more money in the stock market to boost up stock prices, then what should I do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it like where you can buy Bitcoin, where it's fractional. I'm going to make it so you can buy the dollar value. So... I'm going to buy Tesla, even though it's $835, I'm just going to spend $100 and have a fractional share of Tesla. So if Tesla goes from $835 to $1,670, doubling your money, that $100 will now be $200. But now people don't have to spend $835 because there's a millions of people that don't have $835 to buy one share of stock, but you now have about 90 million people that will have $100 as a fractional amount to put into Tesla or Amazon or any other stock for that matter. 
And I just want to show you this. Because this is what I got today. And this is what prompted me to do this video. Because Robin Hood sent me, you're off the list. Hi, Eric. The wait is over. You're one of the first people to get access to fractional shares. With fractional shares, you can invest in thousands of stocks like Apple, Disney, and Amazon with as little as $1. Click on the button to get started. They're testing this out right now. So you know this is going to be full-blown access to millions of people. Now, what do you think the stock market's going to do when you can add 40, 50, 60 million people that can sit there and spend $10, $5, $100, $200 and get parts of Disney, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, and whatever other company that is out of reach for buying one share. They can get a piece of it and whatever percentage it rises or drops you will get that equal percentage on your money this is beautiful now are you getting it so what do you think is going to happen with the stock market under all this circumstance with everything going on somehow it's still rising while <laughs> 90 million people 80 to 90 million people are out of work half of the workforce is out of work a fourth of the workforce is not even going to get their job back. So I just want to give you guys this idea and this examples. So hopefully I've given you something to think about. Because this is no joke. This is your life. This could be your future that you can invest in. This is just one of the tools. One of the streams of income. We've always talked about LLC. Starting your own businesses. Uh, ways to do additional income. This is just one of them. And right now, whenever the stock market's in flux, sure, it can go down or it can go up. But right now, think about it. When the Federal Reserve, the one percenters are all saying we're going to, the Treasury is all working together and saying no matter what your debt is, we're going to help you out. That's corporations, of course. The one percenters who have the money to invest in the stock market, obviously, that's what they're going to do. Because exponentially, that's where you can make a thousand percent on your money, 500 percent on your money, 10 percent on your money in a day, in a few hours. So therefore, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And you know it's hard out here. That's why here at Stop Struggling Now, we're trying to create wealth. You don't need a lot of money to start. You just have to believe you have to be patient. You have to spend the time. Just like you're willing to put in money in a 401k, a mutual fund, index fund, whatever you want to call it, fund, and sit there and work for 30 years while it marinates. Why not do it yourself? That's all I'm saying. And you have full access to it. And that means it's liquid. Think about it. So with all that said, keep your head up. Keep moving. And I'm